Hello everybody, my name is Amir and in this video I wanted to show you uh, the new bike model that we have uh, uh, developed. So as you can see on the left uh, animation uh, we have a, a triathlon or a time trial bike imported into anybody uh, and we have put a, a cyclist, so, uh, so a rider onto the bike uh, and the connections are between bike and, and this rider are on pedal feet connection so uh, then the guy sits on the on the seat and we have a connection close to the elbow in those elbow pads and the rider holds with his hands those those arrow bars so as uh, with all models in, in anybody you can of course scale the the subject that you have so either by uh, some subject specific information that you have uh, of, of the rider or just use some standard values to scale your guy. You can also individually change the muscle strength of the, of the rider. So if you have almost a professional rider he will of course have for certain muscles a very high strength while if you take just an average or a beginner uh, he will have lower strength in his muscles. Then you can analyze, of course, inside anybody, muscle activation, muscle forces, joint forces, and moments. And you can see how this rider reacts to a given bike. In this model, uh, uh, you can you can you could also look at different uh, bicycle functions. So uh, in this case, we directly imported uh, a CAD geometry from SolidWorks into anybody. So you can adapt the model either in SOLIDWORKS or then uh, later on in anybody. So in SOLIDWORKS if you for example change the crank diameter, if you have a compact crank or then uh, a traditional crank, uh, you, can, you can analyze that. Uh, also very, uh, very interesting is it uh, for time trial bikes if you have an oval chain ring or then a, a normal circular chain ring. Uh, you can look at different pedal functions. You could introduce spring or damper functions. Uh, and so basically whatever you can uh, you can do in your CAD model, uh, you, you can analyze it later on in, in anybody. The interesting part of this model is of course then to look to analyze the bike human interactions. So if you have different dimensions for your bike, you can see how a rider, either a specific rider or then a general a standard rider, will react to those different dimensions. So for example, if you have uh, different frame geometries for a bike, you can you could analyze that. So if it's uh, a time trial bike or more a standard uh, race bike, those have different angles and, and, and frames and position of crank and, and settle, of course. Then you can find the optimal seat position. So post seat post height and angle uh, for, for your rider. You can also analyze uh, uh, the arrow bar, the height and the, and the width, how far are those two bars uh, from each other can for example look at to shoulder forces during the position of, of this uh, uh, of the rider. You can also look at different elbow pad positions. I think those will influence the shoulder forces as well. And then you can uh, change the front stem length uh, or angle. So if, he's, uh, if his upper body is further to the front or uh, or not, or then higher or lower, so you can uh, analyze all of those uh, parameters. And if you set up all those parameters uh, as uh, typical anybody, any of our parameters, uh, then you can even uh, set up optimization studies, so parameter optimizations in anybody, and you can uh, analyze uh, a range uh, of those parameters and see uh, what influence will have that uh, for the for the rider. So you will get in the middle you see one of those typical 3D graphs. You get one of those graphs uh, in this case for example over maximum um, 
muscle force so you can see where is the best uh, where will it has the uh, the highest forces in a combination of certain parameters or you can see where are the minimum uh, forces in the muscles or in, in certain joints uh, uh, or muscle activations so you can define your target your objective function and then see how the parameters that you have on your bike would influence uh, the the rider so this is just a, a basic overview of the bike model uh, there will be additional uh, videos online on the on this YouTube channel uh, that um, show you how to do it more practical so it's more technical demo how to get a bike frame from SolidWorks to anybody or then how to change parameters in anybody and, uh, and look at different values so thanks for listening